Hey boys, it's Harm9. Today I'm back in Grand Theft Auto Online with my friends NPC and Twingo for yet another Top Gear challenge in Grand Theft Auto Online. For today's challenge, we're going to be doing the best car for $3,250,000 challenge. We're going to take these cars and compete in a series of challenges. Points will be assigned for winning the challenges. Whoever has the most points at the end of the video is going to win. Let's go ahead and pick our cars. All right, yeah. it's car buying time. Okay. Um, I know what I'm going with. Yeah, no doubts easy. in my mind. It's easy. LM87, all the way. Mm. Yep. Mm, me too, no way. Dude, no way. All right, boys. Uh, we're at the arcade today, because there is a spot that I could put a car. So uh, I decided to go for the Torero XO today. Uh, because it's a, well, good car. Uh, unfortunately, it doesn't have any downforce, but that's, uh, <laughs> that's okay, I guess. Uh, so we have $360,000 to spend uh, to upgrade this vehicle. So I'm actually going to head down to the auto shop and just move a car to my other, uh, to my other garage because I think I'm going to need to uh, save some budget for this thing for sure. Uh, so I'm going to enter my auto shop. A vehicle must be removed. So I'm going to just switch one of these vehicles over to my arcade garage. Uh, which vehicle am I going to switch? I don't know yet. Let's find out. Um, oh, I have a Torero in here already. I guess I'll replace that, actually. I'll just throw that one in the other garage. That's fine. Okay, very cool. I'm going to start off with an armor upgrade, followed by maybe not a brake upgrade just yet. We'll have to see about that. I will definitely do an engine upgrade, though. I'm also going to do a turbo and, of course, a transmission upgrade. Now, the spoiler on this car doesn't actually matter because the downforce is completely broken. So I'm going to choose one that's like cosmetic looking, you know, one that's, you know, just good looking, basically. Uh, so I'll have to figure that out in just a minute. I am going to be putting a neon kit on this car though because I think it's going to uh, it's going to need it for sure. So let's put that on. Okay, now that we've got pretty much every performance modification on the car, um, I've got to figure out what I actually want to do here. So for the bumpers, we're going to start off here and take a little look through. I think I'm probably going to go for like smaller splitter, maybe the secondary carbon drag splitter. Let's go for that option today for 14725 Okay, I like that. For the rear bumper, um, I'm going to go with something carbon. Uh, I think probably the secondary aggressor diffuser. So we'll throw that on the car. For the canards, um, I don't think I actually want to go for any sort of canards on this thing. But uh, there are some grill options here as well. So uh, we'll see what we can do. Maybe the dual grill covers? Maybe I just leave it open. Kind of like it open, actually. But at the same time, the dual grill covers kind of look cool. So I'm, I'm actually going to go for that option. For the exhaust on this car... Uh, I want to go for maybe some carbon performance exhausts let's go for that option for the hood uh, we can add quite a few different things onto this car except none of them are really that crazy uh, maybe I'll go for the single vented hood for a thousand bucks let's go ahead and add that onto the car for the lights I think I am actually gonna go xenon so let's throw that on as well. For the livery, we could do something with it. Uh, I'm not 100% sure if I actually want to do that or not. Um, a lot of the liveries for this car are actually really ugly, so I, I'm going to come back to that. For the plate, I think I'm going to go SA exempt, so let's go ahead and throw that on. And for the color on this car, I definitely am going to change it up. I just don't know what I'm going to change it to. Uh, maybe some sort of a... You know what I'm thinking about doing is going for like a shadow silver or something like that. And then maybe like a yellow secondary. I think that might be really cool. So I'm going to go for that. Uh, color does not count towards the overall budget, by the way, guys. I'm just going to say that right now because I know I'm probably going to get a comment about it. So just a reminder. Yeah, I think I think a like a race yellow secondary color would be really cool let's go ahead and throw that on uh, for the trim color on the interior hmm, what do i want to go with here maybe a midnight silver for the interior color something a little different let's go for that kind of like that okay for the roof uh we can go for a carbon roof which doesn't look very good we can go for an, an entire full carbon roof that's pretty cool might have to go for that not sure ridgeline roof we could go with one uh, we could also go for a vented roof I do have to say I like that option. Um, we also have the Streamline Roof. I think the Streamline Roof looks really, really good. Do I want to do it in carbon, maybe? I feel like it looks a little better in just the primary color, so I think I'm going to keep it primary. 
Let's go for that. For the side skirts on this thing, we need to find something that's secondary colored um, and that is regular carbon. Uh, I don't want to go for something like too crazy. Maybe just the secondary XL skirts. So 99.75 for that. For the spoiler, now this is where we can uh, where we can pick some some maybe kind of cool options. The carbon extended ducktail, I do have to say, I really like how that looks. Not really sure about any of the other options here. I I don't mind the carbon Pegasi wing. That's pretty cool looking. Maybe go with that, or maybe just the carbon extended ducktail. I don't know. I feel like I kind of like the Pegasi wing better though, so I think I'm gonna go for that one. So let's go ahead and throw that on the car. Suspension, I am gonna lower this thing down all the way. Let's throw that on. And the trunk, oh, right, we can do some stuff to the trunk. I forgot about this. Um, okay, let's see. Is there anything kind of cool? Oh, I do like the ridgeline trunk. That's pretty neat. Uh, the deep vented trunk, that looks really weird. Uh, let's go for, let's go for the, the ridgeline trunk, I think. Okay, so we got that on the car now. Uh, for the vents, oh, we can change up the vents. Uh, we could go for a secondary vent. No, that doesn't does not look that cool. I'm gonna keep it carbon, I think. And for the wheels to finish things off here, cheetah carbons, maybe with a yellow outline. I think I gotta do it. I think I gotta do it. Go ahead and throw those on, and let's put them in a race yellow if I can find it. Race yellow. Throw that on. Nice. Uh, bulletproof tires. Not gonna go ahead and throw that on. I will tint the windows all the way out though for 47.50, and that is literally all we can do to this car i think yeah that's it so oh i guess we could potentially put on a livery but are any of them really gonna look good i don't know could do the black pagasi on the side could do the white pagasi um the white pinstripes are always an option as well I'm not a fan of it though i don't think it looks very good <sighs> could go for the white pagasi or black pagasi i don't know if i want that or not i feel like it looks really clean without it i feel like we could get away with the white pagasi and then go for a white secondary i feel like that would look kind of crazy i feel like that'd be really cool actually you know what maybe that's something to consider let me see let me just see what the secondary color looks like in a white so i feel like it would look pretty good like an ice white it does look nice maybe that's something to consider maybe i should go for ice white for the uh, for the wheel color let's uh let's try it out at the very least let's throw that on and then for the wheel color let's go frost white even though it doesn't really match up maybe maybe for the wheels i should just keep them black actually yeah let's keep them black okay hang on and then for that livery option the white pagasi with that i have to say it does it does look nice it definitely does look nice it's not as much of a highlight color as the yellow for sure but i do feel like it almost works a little bit better in all honesty so i think i think i will go for the white pagasi livery it's gonna cost us another nineteen thousand four hundred ninety four dollars let's go ahead and throw it on i like it i like it okay that's nice looking um i really wish i could get away with that wheel color in the white i mean i i guess i could get away with it it's just it doesn't the white isn't the same you know so i think i'm gonna leave it alone i'm gonna leave it off the car uh we have fifteen thousand two hundred and twenty eight dollars left to spare uh, let's head back over to the airport. I'm shocked. I'm shocked that I'm the first one to arrive for uh, something to do with customizing a car. That's that's incredible. Incredibly rare. All right, let's back into the spot. And uh, now, now we wait. Well, that well, was fast. Well, sure was. I just parked. Holy. Oh, wow. Perfect timing then. I'm pulling up right now. Awesome. What car are you in? A Terrero XO? Not the Terrero oh. XO. Ooh. Ooh. A Krieger. Mm hmm Nice. The Krieg. Krieger gang. I haven't seen a Krieger in a while. Mm hmm Nice. Pretty cool. Very cool. Pretty minimal customization for this, though. Yeah, not, there's... Not too much. Yeah, there's never a lot for the Krieger. Terrero XO, though. Mm hmm Opposite. Very, very cool looking. Very customizable, yes. Oh, I, yeah. Uh, quite happy with this i think i went for some sort of a blue steel or something like that is this like a shadow a silver shadow silver maybe yeah so it's mm -hmm. some one of the silvery shadowy steely colors one of them oh, yeah. one of them guys where is he where is he oh there he is there he is oh my god oh i almost went for a black too i'm not gonna lie Old race car here. <laughs> Old race car, and then Fukuru. here we have Fukuru. Fukuru. Fukuru, indeed. And here we have the Torero, beautiful 
Lamborghini and the Krieger. Mm -hmm. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Awesome, man. Okay. okay well, it's time. No time, it's time to waste. <laughs> what you pull up to the line there, Toingo? Yeah, I'm here. You ready? I'm throwing the grenade. Let's go. I'm ready. I'm ready. Let's ready. do it. Rev up to those fryers. Bam. Oh, oh goodbye, Alameda 7. Goodbye. Right. Oh, my God. Oh, That's kind of brutal. Damn, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, baby. Krieger Gang takes the cake with all wheel drive. Holy, bro. Oh, no yeah. Way, bro. Yeah. Let's oh go. My God. Let's go. Sweet. Oh man, that's so awesome to see. I'm really glad that that just happy, happened the way that it time. the way that it went. Awesome. Speed glitch did not kick in. Speed glitch, glitch did glitch not did click not it. Kick yeah, in. no, it did not kick in. Damn. Damn. I need to close my Chrome tabs or something. Yeah. Um, okay. <laughs> well, circuit race time, boys. Yeah, circuit race. Woo! All right, here we are at the circuit race location. Uh, we start right here at this intersection, and we're gonna do two laps around the Alamo Sea. Um, and first across the line and past the welcome to Sandy Shore sign after the second lap is the winner of the circuit race. Let's line up. Okay, there's a Sand King behind us. Bravado right. Gressley over here. All right. Two laps, boys. Two, yeah. Hey! Okay. Yeah. Well, NPC okay, just got an start. assisted start, I guess. Amazing. That's fine. <laughs> Awesome. I literally got a rolling start. It's good. Whoa! Oh! oh! Oh my god! Race is over for the Torero. Yep. Nice one. Sorry, pal. And the LM87 says goodbye to everyone. Yep. But I, uh, I'm a little afraid for the dirt. I've got my slicks on. Oh my on. god. Oh. Did you crash? What? Oh my god. He crashed. This the Torero doesn't have brakes. Oh! oh yeah. Oh. Oh my God! I almost went in the water. Does that one have broken downforce or just zero? Low? Zero downforce. Zero. Oh damn. Yeah. Oh nice. Yeah, that's. Yeah, good. Oh. Oh! Brake check me. Oh! I didn't brake check you. What? Stop pushing me! <laughs> oh my God. I need to get you back for the oh! customization battle race. Oh, never mind. Let's this go. Is so oh, this is so oh, just drive. Just drive. Oh, my God. Right? That's sinking. Oh, my God. The Krieger's are right there. Krieger game. Oh, my God, dude. Oh. Like, I, f oh, f I hate this car. I f hate it so much. Whoa. Dude. Jesus Christ. What oh. is this Sand King doing blocking the middle of the road, bruh? What? <laughs> He's literally across the road. Oh my god. What a piss off. Oh my god. And of course I hit the Prius. Of course I of course there couldn't just not be a car there right now. Let's oh go. my god, bruh. <laughs> Woo! Second for the Krieger. Almost. I haven't actually crossed the sign yet. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> <laughs> that is so embarrassing. Where is he? He's taking a while. <laughs> I'm just going for. A <laughs> I'm just going, going for a cruise. Hey, where is he going? He was across the highway right now. I just. I. I couldn't fucking turn. I just slammed into a fucking sign. I was just like, okay, fuck it. I'm going through the farm. I don't give a fuck. And. Yeah, that's that's pretty much where I'm at right now. Oh, God, what a miserable experience. Never buy a Torero XO ever. Holy shit, this thing sucks. <laughs> Fucking blows, man. Like, I did everything I could to make it handle good. And across the line. Across yeah. the line. Yeah. Awesome. Wicked. This thing sucks. <laughs> I must have hit 10 cars. Like... You, I, and, I hit the Sand King that you up on my last one. Yeah, bucket. no, no, uh, th that's the problem with this car is you can see the car. You just can't do anything about it. You're going to hit it. If, if you're <laughs> like, there's nothing you can do. <laughs> like the brakes don't work. It has no downforce. You can't change direction. You're just going to die. Just, just quit. If you're going to accept it. It's your fate. Yeah. Just leave. If you're going off in the Torero, this thing blows. Time to talk about which is the best looking. It's the Torero. It's the Torero. It's the Torero. Easy. Easy. Great looking car. 
it's almost like it's, a one-to-one model of the yeah. new Countach. It's almost. like it's like the Ignis too. Like it's just like exactly. it's just it's mm-hmm. so they good. Were, they were on like, stuff. They, they, when they did. Were making those yeah, the labels. last few Pegasi cars that have come out, they've been on some shit. Like mm-hmm. everything. Not just looks that though. Good. The 10F. That's shit, the 10F. 10 yeah. 10F was 10F great. Looks crazy. Anything owned by Audi Group, they uh, they, they group. they've been on it. Yeah, the Volkswagen Group. Maybe yeah. they sponsor Rockstar. Yeah, I think I like that's where they're getting the GTA 6 funding. Yeah, the tail lights are sick. Everything about this car is just awesome. Like it's, yeah. it's, it's really good looking. The fuser in the back looks amazing. Front end, yeah, good wish. customization options. They do. It it has a lot. I think some of it could mesh better because there's you could get like four different types of black on your car all at once, like that black window framing on the front there, and mm-hmm. then there's like the carbon, and then the forged. And... Yeah. Mm-hmm. I do wish there were some diffuser options that weren't so like they didn't need the, need the yeah and the side, bars and the or side anything. yeah and the side parts there yeah. I really like the side of this car around the door and the vent in the back it's so it looks clean really cool yeah it it's, is nice it's so complicated looking it's awesome yeah and the drop in headlights oh that's so cool. yeah that Very is edgy. that is pretty cool actually that's something really unique about this car so yeah i like that yeah well, easy first place well, for the i'm trailer. glad i'm glad we've established that that's for sure after my misery that i suffered yeah. in the circuit race that, that <laughs> makes me feel a little better the second oh, best next. looking car this i it's actually they're tough. very different looking cars they are very extremely different. different looking i love the lm87 and like how like race car it is you know yeah i agree but what is that group c yeah 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 i love group c personally um but the krieger like i i hate the krieger honestly like i don't hate it but i hate it you know what i mean like it's like yeah it's i it's it's been one of the best supercars in the game for so long that you can't help but like kind of not like it because we've just had to use it for so long or at least a lot of people have had to use it for so long Agreed. I do think that it is a really good looking car though. Like I it think really is. Twingo brought out what it's capable of looking like. Yeah, definitely. I, I think you I, can make I a like very it. bad looking Krieger too. But Do you remember our race car Krieger? Yes, oh horrendous. my god. I looked, looked at like one the vomit. other day. Yeah. yeah. They look like vomit. The rim this? paint livery, yeah. Yeah. But what color is this? This is a metal? This is a black steel, I believe, with a white pearlescent. Very that nice. looks really nice. Mm-hmm. It looks really nice. I like the roof scoop too. That's really I, cool. roof scoop comes with that. I only really added the spoiler here. Oh really? I yeah. I know that. I know it has a roof scoop. I didn't know that that was just on the car. Can you change it at all? No, there's nothing really else you can change. Yeah, that's just on like very minimal. That's on every creer. Yeah. Wow. Interesting. Okay. Um, well, I, I think your build looks really good. It's honestly really tough to choose between the Krieger and the LM87. Okay, yeah, because I mean, I, I like your build a lot too. Um, I, I do gotta try to win here, so um, I gotta point some stuff out. First thing is that the Krieger, it's got a little bit of Furious Syndrome, where it's it's a little boxy. If you come from the side, it's like, it's really just chunky from the bottom to the top. Like, it's just elevated. There's, it's not doesn't have that ramp like shape like the uh the torero does mm. which i think is i think is personally like a wait but the krieger looks more boxy than the torero <laughs> no yes i don't i don't see that there what the torero is a lot it's bigger like, that's for sure it definitely is bigger but like, it's so huge actually it's so close to the ground you know what i mean like yeah, the, it's, the it's hood very area angled i guess yeah and the krieger's it's just it's tall it's soft it's a little raised yeah it's a little more raised it looks like a corvette c8 i think in the front yours a little is bit. quite tall too even though it's low to the ground the the bubble kind of for the cockpit comes up pretty high it's higher than the krieger that's, i think yeah They're very yeah. similar at least yeah but that's that's not what i'm talking about i'm talking about like the body height body height the body height it's like the fury it was just like really tall I, on the front end i'm not the back see, end. i'm not seeing it to be honest i think the krieger's pretty sleek looking and i actually think it's really cool looking from the rear end it like looks like it's got a long tail like it looks like a race car yeah it's kind of pretty like cool a, yeah. I, I, i've never really paid attention to that before i think something about your customization has made me realize that you know those spiker nice. cars like yeah the C8, spiker c8 it kind of gives yeah, a vibe of that it does it does un- unsung hero those spiker cars yeah those things are pretty cool yeah um okay and then one more thing is that on average i think the lm87 looks better than the krieger i just think twingo's krieger looks good 
I think it's very hard to compare these two types of cars. I think I think I don't really wise. yeah, looks wise cuz it's like everything about the everything about the LM87 is because it's a race car. Everything about the Krieger, well, at least you know, 50% of the Krieger is like for racing, but other is just styling, you know. But there's no styling to the LM87. Mm -hmm. It's just it's pure aerodynamics. Pure race yeah. car. I think I have to give it to the Krieger, honestly. I think I'd take okay. the Krieger. I think yeah i mean it's got like i think really cool leather i think seats your lm87 too. looks really sick though i'm I, I like it a lot i think these seats are unique actually oh and it's got gullwing or what are these scissors doors what are these doors called uh, gullwing nice look oh, at those the, seats oh the seats are cool actually those are freaking sick yeah that's actually really neat got the benefactor logo in there too i think yeah. that definitely counts for best looking I think the Krieger, yeah, I don't know. It's hard to say, like, because I really don't like the Krieger very much. And I do like the LM87, but I, I think as far as a best looking car goes, it's like... I, I want to get something in there before you say it, because okay. I think the LM87 definitely looks good, but I feel like it's just a generic race car kind of thing. And you can get that with kind of a lot of cars. That's... I feel like the Krieger is much more unique. Yeah. I... It is unique, but how long has it taken how many years has the krieger been in the game for us to say oh that car kind of looks good i mean and if this car was bad always, if this car was bad would we still have the same opinion i mean you i should ask I, yourself that question. I, I said right at the start i don't like the krieger i I, yeah. I i'm sick of it and but i do think it is the better looking car even though i, I don't think it's like unfair to compare performance with looks when we're in the best looking challenge oh no but it's bars. like you're gonna like a car more if it performs for you whether or yeah, not it's it doesn't good matter or if bad you looking. like it if it's if it's it's if it's more uh, good looking i don't know i, I i'm just yeah. saying it could create bias it does create bias. We are very biased people. Bruh, the LM87 <laughs> the LM87 outperforms every single thing in the game with the speed yeah. glitch. So talking about performance, yeah. we should yeah, all like it the best. Good. But yeah, and it's causing some doubts. Yeah. So But the Krieger I like it the best. The Krieger I love You the picked LM87. the car, of course you like it the best. Oh fire oh! Off. Everyone get, get down. Him. Get his ass. No robbing that so store. Dead. That dude Sanchez is dead. Is... At your service. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I think the Krieger's got to take second. I don't know. Twingo's customization definitely helps. I love how your LM87 looks, but I think the Krieger is overall the better looking car. Valid. It I is more so. unique. I will I, I will give it that. This is literally the S80. It could be the, the S80. The it could be the RE7B. Mm -hmm. yeah. and I, I love all Group C cars, but it is generic. It is generic, yeah. Uh, okay, NPC is at five points. I'm at seven, and Twingo is at six. Correct? Yeah. Correct. All right. Uh, well, it's the sprint race challenge, and I do believe it's. Oh! I didn't notice the gas pumps back there. <laughs> Brother. Brother. Oh my god. Oh Jesus my Christ. god. Oh, there he goes. Holy shit. All right, next up is the sprint race, and it's my turn to pick. So we're going to be going all the way to the exceptionalist way parking lot that's posted right here next to my garage icon um no highways are allowed no off-roading is allowed no cutting corners or anything and uh smooth racing hopefully yeah. hopefully yeah I'm all excited. right all right should i i'll just throw the grenade i have it out ready sure, yeah throw the all grenade right. let's go here we go oh my god oh my oh god. yeah Damn, oh no yeah way. No way. Oh, yeah. Come on. Time to go off road. Oh, my God. Ooh. Almost cut off by the Sand King. Oh, my goodness. Oh, a big crash for the Torero. Oh, my God. Not anymore, buddy. Back on the road. Stream. Whoa. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm oh, taking a different route no. than you guys. Interesting. What? I crashed. Oh, nice. Oh, beautiful. Hey, Harm None, you should crash too. Uh, yeah, no. Oh, damn it. I'm gonna try not to do that with the Torero today. Imagine that. A lot of traffic here. Definitely a lot of traffic here. The Seminole just took me out. Oh my god. You're Let's kidding go. me. Let's go. You're kidding Seminole me. Gang. Betrayed. Betrayed by my own. Oh, no. It was a very light tap. He was just letting me know that he was there. It's all good. No hard feelings for sure. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh no, please. 
Oh my god. Oh my god! Right? Exactly. I've crashed like three times already this race. This is miserable. That's so nice. That's I'm really sad to hear that. <laughs> For sure. <laughs> poor thing. Uh poor NPC. Oh no. I'm really broken up about that, man. That's Yeah. Oh jeez. Terrible news. It is terrible news. <sighs> come on, come on! Oh my god! I'm afraid of harm in silence. Is he there already? Must be. No way he's not crashing in the Torero. Oh uh, yeah. No! No! Oh! Oh, this is good news. Please. Oh man, no! that must suck. Oh no. man. Oh. <laughs> what route did you guys take? Right beside where we, uh, I don't know, like the, the road that we always take pretty much whenever we oh. come into the city. And just I straight went through. so far. Yeah. I went so far. I went all the way towards like the courts building route. Do that road's the big. What the hell is wrong with you? Why did you do that? What? Yeah, I was pretty out of the way. Oh. How long have you guys been here? Uh, like, I, I've, been, I've been here for. Uh, at the point you showed up, probably 20 seconds, maybe 30, so, uh, something like that. Yeah. So. That's tough. Yeah. That's really tough. Rough. Well, I think that puts me at 10 points, if I'm not mistaken. 10 points. I'm at eight points. Eight points. NPC is at, uh, six. Six. Damn. I cannot win anymore. Damn. Well, I would say... For the best value challenge, it is the LM87. Absolutely, yeah. yeah. For two million nine hundred and fifteen thousand dollars, the LM87 oh! is crazy good, especially with the speed glitch. Now, without the speed glitch, I think it's a maybe a different story. It is still a I phenomenal a handling car, but I think it's probably the Krieger. I think the Krieger could take it. It is, I think, like second in supercars, like regular supercars yeah, around Yeah, not Circuit. HSW. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it handles it's, okay. It's definitely better than the uh, Torero episode yeah, with the zero brakes sure. it has yeah. and zero downforce too. Quite a shame. Yeah, it is. A, it is a huge shame. It's definitely more consistent handling than the Emirates. Yes. Yes. True. It is. Yes. That it is, that is to really drive. nice, and it's it's minimally slower. Like, isn't it a few tenths of a second or something? Double yeah, it's, it's it. Yeah. It's yeah. like super minimal, but uh, yeah. Without the, if the Alum 87's got the speed glitch, like you can't really. Yeah. You can't. It's a not pretty pick obvious it. choice. Yeah, you can't yeah. beat you it. You guys saw. Without the speed glitch, though, it's it's the Krieger for sure. It is for sure. And right. then yeah, and that is the Torero's last. I mean, and unless Torero. like unless you're talking free mode and drag racing, then the Torero like I think has a case to be made that it's the best value. But as far as performance goes, yeah, it's not the Torero. Like in, <laughs> unless it's straight line, like unless it's direct straight line, that's the only thing it really get, is like good at. So pretty yeah. much, yeah. There's such a big learning curve with the Torero because it's so light. Yeah. That you have to brake like way earlier than any other car. Yeah. But it's a nice car. It's Just, a nice car. Just these yeah. are three very high performing vehicles. Yeah. The perform. Absolutely. Yeah. The performance value is not there with the Torero. Um, so, yeah, LM87 first, uh, Krieger second, Torero third for this challenge. However, if the LM87 speed glitch gets patched, the Krieger moves into first place. Yep. And then the LM87, I would say, goes to probably second. So Agreed. Yep. So I think the Torero wins the challenge overall by, like, one point. Yeah, what are the final points? Uh, I'm at 11. I'm at 10. I'm at 10, too. Oh. Wait, how? Wait. Wait. <laughs> no, 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 only no. a total of 30 points. No, something's wrong. <laughs> you had three, you were at eight? I thought I was at Oh, eight. maybe I'm at nine. I think I'm you're at nine. nine. I think you're I'm at nine. nine, yeah. My bad. I'm done, you have 10, and then you have, no, oh, 11, have 11, and then I have 10. I, I, yeah. I have nine. 10, yeah. 11, nine. That, 10, that 11, nine. Is that, that right? Is that, that math? Yeah, that's, yep. how, that's how math works. Wicked, all right. There you go. So uh, yeah, that's that's it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, a like is of course appreciated. If not, dislike. Go subscribe to NPC and Twingo as well as myself if you guys are new, and we will see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.